In this video, we will discuss about the dengue or dengue virus. The, the dengue virus is the genus uh, Flavi, uh, Flav, Flavirus and the family is the Flavi uh, Viridae. So here is the four serotypes, dengue uh, 1 to 4 and this uh, the residence of this virus is the South Asia, Southeast Asia, United States and the humid climate and Aedes mosquito is the vector. So here the structure is the viral envelope and here is the viral genome inside is the RNA and the RNA is the 11 KB uh, and the 11 KB segment and in this way here is the E and RM protein are present and the nucleocapsid is present. So the ERM is basically on the basis of the species on the basis of the uh, family. So in this way here is the Aedes mosquito. This is the adult and it reproduces and produces the eggs into the water. After the production of the uh, eggs to produce the larva, larva convert into the adult again. So during the adulteration, so the during the developmental stages, the virus will be ingested through a water. So after these things, you should need to understand the water is very important for the growth of the Aedes mosquitoes. So that if we will uh, remove the water from our areas, so the pure water, not the dirty water is required. So the dengue fever can be occur in the patient, infected patient. So the infection can be dengue hem hemorrhage fever to bleeding from the skin or eyes or other things. So that is why it is very, very dangerous. And it is the 50 to 100 million cases of dengue fever and 5 lakh cases of severe dengue and that uh, the dengue uh, hemorrhage, uh, hemorrhagic fever and, and dengue shock syndrome and DHF and the 20,000 death per year can be an estimation. So this is the 5 lakh cases of the hemorrhagic fever hemorrhagic fever to produce the uh, bleeding to produce the bleeding so the um, blood will be uh, uh, produced due to the uh, unclotting so the uh, thick thin thin blood formation due to the uh, heparin uh, production and on the other hand the here is the basically the platelet decrease due to the infection of the platelet so here is a cell and when infection from the skin to move into the artery or veins so in this way it will go in inside and contain a, a e protein so here is the e attachment with the e protein and this is the target cell so after this target cell can be the dendritic cell or other cell skin cell or there are several type of cells so in this way here is the E protein will be bind with the bind with the cellular factors and target the cells. What is the cellular factor we will discuss here including the heparin sulfate, mannose receptor, dendritic cell, dendritic cell specific intercellular adhesion molecule 3 and grabbing non-integrin uh, dendritic cell sign and T cell immunoglobulin and much do, uh, sorry mucin domain uh, tin it is collectively known as and the tyrosine 3 AXL and MER is known as the TAM so here is the infection will again the clathrin mediated endocytosis will be occur the clathrin after this the endosomal crow uh, and to endosomal compartment will be occur in this way the endosomal compartment will, will be occur and that less pH will low pH changes the E protein structure result viral membrane fusion so the viral membrane fusion will, will be occur so in this way you can imagine that that is the during the low pH so the messenger RNA will be produced from the positive strand of RNA and the cytoplasm into the cytoplasm and in this way you should need to understand we will discuss with a detail to understand so let's begin to understand with the interaction with the virus and specific cell for example the dendritic cell 
so the dendritic cell is the important part for the recognition of the antigen but it will direct to the dendritic cell to rupture so that is why the immune cell will be damaged so in this way here is the attachment site with the receptor tyrosine kinase receptor or something other type of receptor mannose receptor or uh, in including the heparin sulfate so on the other hand here is the bind and in this way you can see that is the endocytosis will be occur and move inside the endosome formation will be occur with the plasma membrane wrapping around it after this the basically the hydrolytic enzyme and low ph will lead to fusion the fusion means the membrane of the virus and the membrane of the endosome will be fused together to release the viral rna so that's known as a fusion and disassembly formation so after the disassembly formation some enzyme with the set of the viral rna will be occur anyhow here is the amplification will be occur amplification we will discuss first so first this rna will viral rna will move toward the nucleus site but it will not move into the nucleus but it will go with the rough endoplasmic reticulum where the binding with the ribosome so the smaller subunit and larger subunit are present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum with the ribosome so the ribosome after the binding this as a messenger rna of the viral rna to synthesize the protein as well as also the amplification of the rna the viral rna will be amplified and on this in this case the protein synthesis from the messenger rna and after the protein synthesis so the ribosome inside the ribosome it's also synthesis the coat uh, polyprotein this poly mean many protein mean different type of protein so the polyprotein will be synthesis after this this synthesis the maturation will be occur but this is the incomplete maturation not complete the semi mature semi mature polyprotein with the uh, dna in uh, sorry rna inside so the nucleocapsid will be formed and endoplasmic reticulum is here as well as here you can see this is the amplification of the rna and the many many rna will be produced so polyprotein will be in the presence of viral proteases this viral protease is, is basically the non structural protein this non structural protein will lead to also replication of the uh, rna of the viral rna to increase enhance or increase the number of viral rna amplification so you need to understand in this way but here is you can see this is the endoplasmic reticulum and this is the immature uh, polyprotein this immature polyprotein will also go into the trans cis phase to trans phase of the golgi network so that trans golgi network which that is here and in this way you can see a maturation will be occur in the maturation maturation means the permi uh, 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 will be formed the pre-membrane protein, the pre-membrane protein, which that is produced from the PRM segment of the RNA of the virus. So the secretory pathway will be occur. So we will later on discuss about the segment of the RNA with study uh, with the 11 KB. So it means the 11 part. So segment. So that is important things. so let's begin to understand here is the mature virus will be formed in this way the antibody and quantity by elisa uh, sorry here is we will discuss is the red color showing the writing is the separate it's not is the part of this but here is you can see the exocytosis will be occur after this exocytosis basically here is you can identify the illness of the virus infection so here is the horizontal is showing that is the acute illness and the vertical here is showing that is the viral load a real time pcr can be show that the process if you don't uh, know about the real time pcr you can watch my video i have 
सो हेयर इज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंटीबॉडी विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम द फिफ्टी डेज लेटर सो हेयर इज द डेज हॉरिजेंटली सो हेयर इज द हाई एक्यूट इलनेस ड्यू टू द हाई नंबर ऑफ द एन एस वन आर एन ई सो ऑन द अदर हैंड द इम्यूनो ग्लोब्यूल इन द टाइप ऑफ टू टाइप विल आफ्टर द आई जी जी एंड आई जी एम विल बी प्रोड्यूस आफ्टर द रिकवरी सो द एंटीबॉडी क्वान्टिटी बाई एलाइजा टेस्ट वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई सो हेयर लेट्स बिगिन टू अंडरस्टैंड हेयर इज द सेगमेंट दिस सेगमेंट इज द डी एन ए जी नोम इज द इलेवन के बी पॉजिटिव सिंगल 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 आर एन ए सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए द सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए कॉन्टेन सी पी आर एम ई एन एस वन टू ए टू बी थ्री फोर ए फोर बी एंड फाइव कैप दिस इज आफ्टर द प्रोसेसिंग बाई प्रोटीएस टू सेपरेट दिस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेगमेंट सो द सी पी आर एम ई एन एस वन सो द एन एस वन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द एक्यूट इलनेस आइडेंटिफिकेशन बिकॉज द एन एस वन इज द बेसिकल इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द प्रोटीएस सो इन दिस वे इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शूड नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज द वायरल आर एन ए रेप्लीकेशन फ्राम सेगमेंट एज एज द वायरल पार्टिकल प्रोडक्शन सेगमेंट सो हेयर इज द एन एस टू बी थ्री विच दैट इज द ऑरेंज कलर शोज दैट एन एस टू बी थ्री प्रोटीएस प्रोडक्शन सेगमेंट सो हेयर इज द फ्यूरिन एंड हेयर इज द सिंगल प्रोट पैप्टी डेज विच दैट इज प्रोड्यूस फ्राम इट फॉर द फॉर द मेच्योरेशन एज वेल एज द सेंथिस ऑफ द वायरस बाय रिप्रोडक्शन सो द वायरस आउटर इन्वायरमेंट इज द नॉन लिविंग सो द इट रिक्वायर द होस्ट फॉर द रेप्लीकेशन बाय द यूजिंग ऑफ द होस्ट मशीनरी फॉर रेप्लीकेशन सो दैट इज वाई द वायरस इज द नॉन लिविंग इन द आउट साइड इन्वायरमेंट सो इज द वैक्सीन कैन बी अकर हेयर इज द यू वी कैन इंट्रोड्यूस विद वैक्सीन अ न्यू डेंगी वैक्सीन इज अप्रूव फॉर अस फॉर यूज इन चिल्ड्रन एज नाइन टू नाइनटीन ईयर्स विद लेबोरेटरी एंड कंसर्न प्रीवियस डेंगी वायरस इन्फेक्शन एंड लाइन एंड लाइनिंग इन एरियाज वेयर डेंगी इज एंडेमिक सो द एंडेमिक एरिया इंक्लूड यू एस टेरिटोरी टेरिटरीज एंड फ्रीली एसोसिएटेड बेसिकली सो द स्पेसिफिक एंडेमिक दिस इज द वायरस एंडेमिक नॉट पेंडेमिक बट एंडेमिक एरिया वाइज सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर आस्क द क्वेश्चन फॉर आंसर एज वेल एज यू कैन आल्सो कमेंट एंड गिव द एप्रिसिएशन और गिव द फीडबैक सो दिस वॉज द डेंगी वायरस इन्फॉर्मेशन